Wow, Safe Moon is on fire. If you had bought just $50 of Safe Moon just last month, you would have had 60 million coins. Today, that is worth $480, meaning you would have almost 10x your entire money. And I know what you're thinking, will Safe Moon hit one cent? How high could it go in the future? Are there any risks? So in this video, I worked out some very interesting maths on whether Safe Moon could ever hit one cent or not in the future. It's been doing the rounds recently after increasing a whopping 2,900% and with Dogecoin recently surging over 11,000% and hitting a ridiculous market cap of over 79 billion, we can't ignore the power of new cryptos. It's sink or swim, so make sure you grab your life jacket for what could be a very bumpy ride. So is SafeMoon a viable commercial coin like Bitcoin, which is there to disrupt the movement of currency, or like Ethereum, which is utilizing the clever technology of smart contracts, or is it more of a meme coin like the Doge? Well, either way, I think SafeMoon is going to go on an interesting journey, whatever happens. I'm not a crypto expert by any means, and I don't draw triangles and graphs all day, but if I was to take a guess, I'd like to think it will go through some kind of volatile times with some rewarding surges along the way. It's too early to tell if it has the potential of a top 10. Nobody really knows and only time will tell. But let's look into an interesting theory about the burning of coins and whether it has enough potential to reach one cent. I recently created another video about SafeMoon talking about some of the risks and challenges associated with the coin and got an absolute roasting and the number one thing that the comments were talking about was the burn rate. Some of the comments were absolutely brutal, but that's what I love about YouTube. Everybody is incredibly passionate about things that they believe in and share all of those comments across the YouTube videos. So in this video, I'm going to explore how many coins need to be burnt with SafeMoon and what the price could be in the future. This is just an interesting theory using a bit of logic in the crypto space. But before we jump into that, if you could just take a quiet moment to destroy the like button as it really, really helps a small channel like mine grow and to be seen across YouTube. And with that being said, on with the show. Firstly, if you're new to SafeMoon, let's quickly cover what it is. So SafeMoon is a US-based protocol that has the slogan, Safely to the Moon. The slogan is inspired and a play on the words that is closely connected to Dogecoin and its community on Reddit. The original phrase is Dogecoin to the Moon, a phrase that was first coined on the Wall Street Bets subreddit to hype up the price of Dogecoin. And currently, the market cap of SafeMoon sits at around 5 billion US dollars. Along with this, the value of one token is well below the price of one US dollar at about 0.00007788. And the market cap of 5.1 billion is distributed between almost 1.5 million holders. And the SafeMoon protocol has around 322 million at the time of this video in its liquidity pool. So SafeMoon is meant to be held for an extended period of time and is therefore prone to a hold strategy or a huddle strategy. The design and the incentives that SafeMoon provides attempts to keep buyers from selling and rewards those who hold on the longest, which is known as tokenomics. So will it hit one cent? Well, I found a really interesting post on Reddit talking about some of the theory behind how to use Dogecoin as a prediction for SafeMoon. And I have to say, it's probably one of the most logical breakdowns I've seen so far. I'll leave a link in the description to the original Reddit post that inspired this video. So for this analysis, we will establish some criterias. Number one, SafeMoon will be referred to as a meme coin. And this is more common jargon. I've heard other terms thrown around, but hear me out. Maybe after this analysis, you'll see why I'm calling it a meme coin. Secondly, the current market is the benchmark. For this analysis, we will assume that the market will not grow significantly. And thirdly, Bitcoin is the big boss and dictates the total crypto market value and we do not dare touch upon it. Next, Dogecoin is the king meme coin and we will use Doge, which is the maximum achievable value that a meme coin can actually achieve. Obviously, the crypto market can and is growing and another meme style coin could knock Doge off the top spot, but that would create multiple scenarios, which I'm not going to cover in this video. So why would I say that SafeMoon is a meme coin? Because in my opinion, that's what it is. The crypto market is the wild, wild west on the internet. And what does the internet love? Memes. And also a meme coin is not a bad thing by any means. Doge is looking to integrate payments online in the form of tips, and I can't wait to see how that evolves. The crypto market has a place for one meme coin or even multiple meme coins, so that's why it's not a bad thing. But calling it anything else doesn't add value to it. The fact that it is a meme is what has made it so strong so far. Another reason for categorizing SafeMoon as a meme coin is because it's similar to Hodge or the Hodge coin. And with it being similar to a Hodge coin, is that a bad thing? Not at all. Essentially what it's saying is I'm you, but stronger and built better. And Hodge is a direct homage 
to the Dogecoin and is riding the meme coin coattails and is gaining ground on the strong tokenomics. And I see SafeMoon as the new Hodge trying to gain ground or at least take Hodge down due to accessibility and better tokenomics. So after the recent huge surge, Doge has a whopping market cap of over 57 billion pounds, which is around 79 billion US dollars, which is actually crazy as Doge has been sitting at around 7.5 billion of a market cap for absolutely ages. So this is really exciting progress that could lead the path to success for SafeMoon. If we assume that SafeMoon can take down Doge, which is the current market leader, then the assumption is that SafeMoon would have a max market cap value of around 57 billion pounds or 79 billion US dollars at the time of filming this video. So SafeMoon has a total circulation at this moment of 587 trillion coins in total, which means 41% of total supply has so far been burnt, of which 223 trillion of that was the original burned dev tokens at the very start, which means 190 trillion has been burned so far out of the active supply, which suggests around 24% of the circulating supply outside of the dev tokens have been burned since going fully live over a month and a half ago. So right now, with a supply of 587 trillion, if SafeMoon had a market cap similar to Doge at around 79 billion US dollars, that would mean the price of the coin would be 0 0.00013, which doesn't sound amazing, but if you put $50 onto SafeMoon today, which is worth around 0 0.00000 7788, then that would give you around seven to eight million safe moon coins, which would mean that your original $50 would turn into 1163. Not bad, right? But it's nowhere near one cent. So the easy way to increase the actual price of the coin is to burn your supply and reduce the circulation, thus making the coin more valuable. But this is where it gets harder for me to believe that one cent is going to be possible. Because SafeMoon is a new coin, they have the advantage of being highly liquid. There's trillions of supply, meaning that they jump from a dress to the other. But the whole point of SafeMoon is to hold onto it for as long as possible. But if everyone is holding and no one is selling, then no coins will ever be burned. So we have to make a large assumption here. Even though SafeMoon encourages everybody to hold, with the math that I'm about to do next, we will assume that some big investors come in, for example, institutions that can pump in millions of pounds and 75% of the stack of these coins will move, which smaller retail investors like us hold. So with this, let's assume that 75% of the entire stack of SafeMoon is moved the equivalent of three times a year for the next five years. And as well, we already know from the white paper that every time you sell SafeMoon, there's a 10% fee, of which 5% is burnt and 5% is redistributed. And to work this out, we take the current circulation today and take 75% of that, which is 587 trillion, which is the current supply, times it by 0.75, 75%, which gives us 440 trillion of liquid coins that we assume are traded and then multiplied by 95% of the remaining supply to the power of three. So this means in layman's terms and very simply, that you have 75% of your supply being traded three times a year, of which each time it's traded, 5% is burnt. Are you still with me? So to work this out, you take the 440 trillion times it by 0.95 to the power of three to the power of five, which brings you to 203.85 trillion coins. But the big question here is, have you hit the like button yet? So if we're going to work out what SafeMoon could be worth in the future with the growth of the market, there's a general consensus that Bitcoin controls the market and the crypto total market cap grows linearly with Bitcoin as time goes on. The Bitcoin price prediction ranges from 100K to 1 million in 2026 in five years time. But the general consensus is that Bitcoin will be around $200,000. So we'll use this as the benchmark for the future. And that's currently 3.5 times the current value today. To benefit this, I'm gonna round this up to four times the current value today to factor in some surges and extra growth in the market. We can assume that Doge reaches a market cap of 316 billion US dollars. And we know that we have 203.85 trillion coins left after these five years, after all the burning, plus we have the original 147 trillion, which is the remaining 25% of holders like me and you who don't sell three times a year and trade all of this safe moon three times a year for five years. So essentially this gives us a total circulation of 350 trillion after these five years have passed. This also doesn't factor in any manual burns. My understanding is that these manual burns will happen on the 2.5% that is put into the liquidity pool every time you sell SafeMoon, but I've not included these in the numbers. So using 316 billion as the market cap, to work this out, you take the 316 billion market cap and divide it by the 350 trillion remaining coins in circulation. That would give you a price of 0 0.0009 
for a safe moon coin, meaning your original $50 investment could be worth about $8,000. So even though it's still nowhere near one cent, that's still a massive, ridiculous gain on a $50 investment. I used here some very optimal situations, assuming that most of the safe moon stack moves multiple times a year, situations which I believe are not as likely to happen. And even after using all of these situations, SafeMoon will still not achieve one cent, but it still could have promising gains that are highly, highly respectable. So what's the future of SafeMoon? Although the SafeMoon token has had a relatively significant price development since its launch almost two months ago, this isn't where it ends. SafeMoon have developed several goals for 2021, where they explain some of their future plans. In the second quarter of the year, SafeMoon wants to complete their SafeMoon application, wallet, and games. Furthermore, they will begin to develop an NFT exchange and integrate SafeMoon with African markets. SafeMoon will also expand their team and create UK and Ireland offices. In the third quarter, they have plans to finish their education application and start their own charity projects. And they'll also finish this NFT exchange and start releasing a video game with SafeMoon integration. In the third quarter, they will also further expand their team with an additional 25%. And this is the exciting point where they'll also begin integration with other large exchanges such as Binance and Mandela. And in the fourth and last quarter of 2021, SafeMoon plans to finish their charity projects as well as the SafeMoon exchange. They'll also ensure that they finish integrations with their first African market and start further development of integration with other markets in Africa as well. SafeMoon have loads of plans to open an office in Africa, hire people from all these markets to create jobs, and lastly, SafeMoon aim to establish a SafeMoon scholarship in this last quarter of the year. Overall, it seems that SafeMoon have some ambitious goals for 2021, and it appears that they have plans on expanding the organization. It will be really interesting to follow how SafeMoon takes this plan and then puts it into action. And there are lots of rumors on whether SafeMoon could be hiding something more sinister. I'm still not fully convinced, but only time will tell. And if they start to miss a lot of their targets this year on their ambitious timeline, then this might start to impact the price. But on the other hand, if they tick all of the boxes that they say they would, we could be in for a really fun ride. Nobody really knows what's going to happen. And even to create this video, I've had to include several caveats to create some kind of logical scenario, but anything could happen. We saw Dogecoin's market cap surge from 7.5 billion to 79 billion in a week. So anything really could happen. Just make sure you're sensible. Don't put all of your life savings into one investment and make sure you diversify. Keep some cash as a safety net and only put in what you can afford to lose because without possible large gains, you could also make some very large losses. Please feel free to criticize this analysis. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out my others like this one on the top here, which is my deep dive into whether Bitcoin will hit $100,000 or you can check out the one on the bottom, which is my deep dive into Dogecoin. So feel free to choose one of these and I'll see you on the other side.